Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you a really quick way of making your own tiny sketchbook. Uh, so all I have here is actually just printer paper, um, just a few sheets of it. Um, it's up to you how much you want to use. Otherwise, you know, you could use drawing paper or watercolor paper, whatever you want. Um, I'm doing this on the cheap, so I'm using printer paper which is fine if all I'm doing is just drawing. Uh, then I also have a sheet of paper that I painted um, that I am going to use for my cover. So you could just use a straight sheet of regular paper. Um, I cut this down so that it would fit inside of the paper that I wanted to use for the cover. So um, some supplies you need if you want to be fancy and use actual bookmaking supplies. You could have a bone folder, you could have an awl, uh, you could use book thread if you want, but I'm doing this on the cheap, the super low-tech version because all of my book supplies are not at home. So I got to be resourceful and use what I have. So in place of a bone folder, I can use anything flat um, to kind of help my creases be nice and firm so I'm just going to use like the edge of these pliers because this can be used for multiple things. Um, instead of an awl I could just use this thumbtack to poke some holes. Um, I could use a nail and a hammer. Uh, really like anything sharp you could poke holes through paper with so working on the cheap. Um, and then instead of using thread to tie this. I'm just going to use some staples and I know that it'll be difficult for my stapler to go all the way through the papers. So I'm actually going to poke holes and like manually staple it. Hence why I also need these to kind of bend my staples over. So let's get started with everything. Um, basically all I'm going to do is take all the papers and fold them in half. So We'll do that really quickly. Okay, so once I have all of these individual sheets folded in half, I'm just going to take the flat edge of my pliers, or if you have a bone folder, use a bone folder, and I'm just going to kind of press the fold down just a little bit more to give it a nice crisp fold. This flattens it, which is really nice. Um, so it won't be quite so bulky when I put them all together. All right, so now I'm just gonna set all of these inside of each other. like so. All right, so fun little bookmaking term. A group of sheets of paper that are attached together like this is called a signature. So we could just stick with one signature like this or we can make multiples and then stitch them all together. Um, since this is kind of our basic extra super simple one, we're just going to use the one signature. Now I need to fold my cover. This one's going to be a little more challenging because the paper is so thick. Um, so I could try and fold it this way, but my paper might crack a little bit if I do that. So I'm going to do something a little bit different here. Okay, so I've got a ruler now and um, this is actually for using uh, to push in nail heads if they're sticking out. So you just hit it with a hammer. But in the instance that I'm going to use it for is actually for kind of um, engraving into the paper a little bit. So I just needed something with a hard edge. You could use like a ballpoint pen with the tip retracted or like a mechanical pencil with the lead pushed in. So anything where you're going to have kind of a small pointed but not sharp edge. And what I'm going to do is find the center of this paper. So I'm just going to measure it and divide it by half. So it's 10 inches wide, 
Lucky, really easy math there. What's half of 10? It's five. Oh, that's so good. Um, obviously this paper is not straight, but we'll pretend. So I'll just make some quick little marks to figure out where the center of the page is. And from here, I'm going to line up my ruler along that edge. Make sure it's straight. And then I'm going to take this metal tool here and I'm going to go right along the edge and press kind of hard with it and kind of engrave into the paper. So if you have a bone folder, you could use the tip of the bone folder to do this too. All right, so now I have this kind of nice little indent in the paper and it's going to make it easier for me to fold my paper with a little cleaner of an edge. There we go. That's nice. Okay. So step one is complete. We have our papers folded and they sit nicely inside of one another. Now we need to create some holes. So I have this little board here that is going to protect my table from any damage. I'm going to open this back up again and then I need to decide where I need to put my holes. So since I'm going to use staples, um, I'm actually going to take the staples out of the stapler and I need just two individual staples. So I'm going to break that off. Oh no, this is difficult when you don't have fingernails. There we go. Two individual staples. If your paper is taller, you might want to do three, but since mine is kind of short, I'm only going to do two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out where my staples are going to be placed. I think I need some tweezers for this. Okay, that feels pretty good. And then I'm going to take my pencil and I'm just going to make a quick little mark where I need the holes to be put. So the length of the staple. All right, so we have two little marks for each area. Now I need to make sure that my paper doesn't move while I'm putting the holes in. So I'm actually gonna grab some binder clips to hold it in place. Okay, so I have some binder clips. I'm just gonna put one on the top and one on the bottom. I need to kind of realign my signature here. Make sure that's good. And then make sure it's right in the middle of my little booklet. I'm gonna hold it tightly in place and I'm going to clamp on the top and on the bottom. I'm gonna do it on either side of the fold to keep it in place. There we go. Okay, so that should keep my paper in place while I am poking the holes. Now all I need to do is take my little thumbtack and I'm going to press into it, give it a little wiggle to make sure it goes all the way through. I can see it go through and repeat the process. Okay, I have my holes in place now. Um, you can do the same thing and stitch it. Just put some thread through the holes and tie it on the back side. Um, there's multiple ways to do it. Now, I want the staples to close on the inside and not on the outside. So I'm going to push the staples through the holes from the back. And I'll flip it over and now we have those little pins kind of sticking up there. I'm going to set that down and from here I'm going to take my pliers and just kind of push the stapler teeth kind of down. There we go. So now it's nice and closed and I'm just going to repeat the same thing in the second spot. All 
All right. So now we have both staples in and it should hold everything in place. So I can take my binder clips off now. And I have a booklet, pretty special. So now we can go through page by page and look at our wonderful artwork that will soon fill this book. So that's how you make a really simple saddle stitch book. I can't wait to see yours. Thanks for watching and keep creating.